Okay, so you know we're 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 in COVID. We're emerging out of COVID. However, you want to spin it. Um, how is uh, how are how are you seeing this unfold organizationally from a from a leader perspective? How are you talking to teams? How do you think uh, organizations should be handling this? Yeah, you know I'm I'm pretty optimistic about the future on this. Um, my my you know some might call it glass half full view, but my my perspective is that we're gonna come out of this with some really good things. Uh, first, um, the whole notion that uh, you can now be fully distributed teams uh, is gonna benefit, I think, humankind in general, because uh, you don't have this centralization of uh, you know high paid uh, uh, IT work and, and like just knowledge work, let's call it, in cities. Now we've learned that we can actually have that that distributed. You see people going to their parents. You see going people to where they grew up, uh, and and that's okay now, right? And they can thrive there and help their their uh, their family. I think that's a good thing, um, and I think it will, you know, at the risk of being too ambitious on this stuff, is going to lead to generally good things in our uh, uh, society. So that's that's not a bad thing. Um, um, you know, uh, I think I think that the need for people to work together, though, people person to person, not over Zoom, is still going to be there. You want to be with people who are uh, thinking about the same type of things. Right? You know, you and I have been having a great time talking about this stuff. Wouldn't it be great if we're five of us over a beer somewhere talking about this stuff? Um, and that's why probably, and I heard this from someone, uh, so I'll, I'll repeat it. Uh, Noah Breyer, the, the CEO of, of Percolate, the ex-CEO of Percolate told me this, and I totally agree with him. Uh, he said, events are going to become even a bigger thing. Right. One. So, so like I don't know. The next CubeCon, I'm gonna be there. <laughs> you know, I want to go and, and meet all my all the people who are into this stuff. So it's probably gonna become even a bigger thing in a distributed setting where people. Um, no, I think one say one last thing. I think that the sort of decline of Silicon Valley is probably exaggerated uh, because. Uh, you're still going to have the center of attraction in terms of this, the, the headquarters being there, the, 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 the actual incubators being there. But I think they're just hopefully still going to, that everyone's going to be a lot more agreeable to this remote working culture with meeting once in a while. That's my general thoughts and opinions for what it's worth. I have no idea if any of this is going to happen. Yeah. And, and have you heard about, uh, there's this company called Humu and they have, now instituted every second Friday off because they have seen that productivity uh, burnout is a real thing in the last year because everyone's been working from home and boundary it's kind of boundaryless. And uh, I'm not saying people should do this, but what do you, what are your thoughts on productivity and impacts on people's well-being and 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 things of that nature and and how how best to combat that or you know support that. Yeah, I think Zoom fatigue is a real thing. And we, we're dealing with Zoom fatigue on top of all the other things we have to deal with, which is, you know, at the basic level, if you don't have any major crisis in your life, still uh, a huge uh, element of psychological fatigue, which is you don't get to see people. You don't get to see your friends. You don't get to go out with them and, and have a conversation. That's that's hard on, on, on people. Uh, so these these days off thing is critical. We're talking right now on an unplugged day at Kong, uh, where we have about six or seven of them through through the uh, through the year, where we said, you know, on top of the bank holidays, we're just going to have the day off, um, and and people have been finding it very useful. That's really cool. Yeah, and we also introduced that no uh, meeting day every second Thursday. We do that now, um, where we, you know, we 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 still okay having like a Zoom unprompt you, but we generally say don't schedule like try not to schedule meetings during those days. I think that's good too because otherwise you just one Zoom to the other is very hard. Yeah.